Hi friends, uh, this is Vikas from Networkers Home and in this video I will show you how to create your serial.wiptela file which is required for your SD-WAN operations. So I am at Cisco software.cisco.com. I just logged in with my username password. You see the organization name here as Networkers Home. I already have a smart account with Cisco. So I will not ask to create but if you don't have it you can get a smart account created here. I have it previously so I will just click on manage smart account and here the most important thing you have to do is create a virtual account i already have created a couple of virtual accounts and here i already have a couple of labs going on right so just create a virtual account and your new lab request will be for this virtual account so each virtual account can have one lab at this time and uh, let's go back to now get our serial.wiptela file i require two things so the first thing that I need to go is I need to set up my controller profile. This controller profile will also be included into my uh, uh, serial.wiptela file. So here what I'll do is I'll go to vbond, right? Uh, add controller type. What kind of controller? I have vbond controller. Okay. What are the other options? These are for different products. So come for vbond here and just say next. What is the next thing we have to do? You have to just give your organization name here. Uh, sorry, your profile name and organization name. That's all. These are the two items. So yeah, let's say you have your lab. Okay. And here your organization is Networkers Home. Next thing you can do is go and give your IP address of Vbond. Now two things very important here. One is your organization name has to be matching with all the devices that you configure, skinny configure, uh, with device templates and everything else. This name cannot change on any device once it is fixed and it has to match with the file that you're downloading. Now, this file is going to verify that you are authorized Cisco customer or Cisco partner who can use, who has got this particular file signed by Cisco and you will be able to use it. Okay and your vbond ip so one is organization name the second is your vbond ip these two items need to be always same you cannot change it your vbond ip cannot be changed once you have uh, created if you have multiple vbonds you create multiple vbond ips etc you have to do like that so once you have it i already have a couple of files i'll show you uh, here is a provisioning file that i have so now the next item once you create this add profile what is the next thing you have to do you go to devices and here you do not do add devices if you have physical devices physical v edge and other things you can do that i would not recommend you uh, what i'll suggest you is go for devices and go for software devices right because you are setting a virtual lab here what you can do is you can just say your v edge how many v edges are you looking for sorry v edge v edge cloud dna this is what you need and how many what is the quantity generally the whole lab cannot uh, go more than 20 i believe so you can just pick up let's say 14 15 whatever number and uh, choose the controller profile if you like the virtual profile that we created you can choose that right it's i don't know why it's not showing nh3 and 4 i think they are still not created so choose the profile and save it as simple as that once you save it right once uh, let's say you want to save it i already have it saved so i'll still save it okay this is one what is the other thing that you want to do we want to do csr also right you want to do csr also so let's say i'll have four csrs in this what is the controller profile same nh2 save it so what do i have i have 15 of VH and 4 of CSR. What do I do? The next thing I go to next and submit it. Right. And it says that your request will be processed in background. Your email will be sent to your official email address. So say done. Okay. So let's see if. Uh, how do we download this particular file? Simple. All you have to do is you have to come back to controller profile. 
click on NH2 okay or just click on the provisioning file it will ask you what version of lab are you going to run so if you are running uh, the SD WAN images which are above 18.3 or anything it could be 19 point something it could be 20x whatever the latest one 18.3 or above you can choose this option and say download as simple as that so this is your serial.wiptela file that you need to do your labbing so as simple as this guys do not wait for this devices when it says there you know it will take 24 hours or whatever message generally you get it next day i got it next day but uh, you can just go and you can basically click on your controller profile and you will be able to download it then and there so that's all guys simple process uh, but uh, i think you can just give it a try create an account with cisco and try to download this file